Back here in Washington, CBS News is reporting that President Biden is expect to, expected to launch his re-election campaign as soon as tomorrow. CBS's Ed O'Keefe reports on Biden's historic pick to run his 2024 bid. With all signs pointing towards a Tuesday launch of his re-election, President Biden remained coy this afternoon when asked about it. Stay tuned. But he was acting like a contender, focusing on the issue of gun violence in a meeting with the Tennessee Democratic lawmakers recently ousted for protesting on the floor of their state house. And at an event honoring the National Teacher of the Year, Mr. Biden also blasted Republicans for meddling in schools, something potential Republican presidential candidate Ron DeSantis has been accused of. I never thought, as a student of history, I never thought I'd be a president who was fighting against elected officials trying to ban and banning books. Empty shelves don't help kids learn very much. Once his re-election is announced, with a brief video release expected, senior aide Julie Chavez Rodriguez will run the campaign. Her first challenge, getting Democrats on board. Polls show a majority of Americans believe Mr. Biden shouldn't run again, his age being a major factor. But the same polling shows 60 percent of Americans also don't want former President Donald Trump to run leading his top anticipated rival, Governor DeSantis, to say it's time for Republicans to move on. We reject the culture of losing that has infected the Republican Party in recent years. Now, after the president's campaign launch, sources tell CBS News the focus will be on raising as much money as possible early on. That's because some Democrats say they expect the Biden campaign and aligned super PACs will need to raise at least $2 billion to win in 2024. Nora. Ed O'Keefe, thank you very much.